Now it's time to talk about inspiration. Inspiration is absolutely essential, especially for a beginner like you. Believe me, without inspiration, you'll have a hard time to even start anything. Of course, you don't have to reinvent website layouts and user interface elements such as buttons or navigations. Instead of that, you should use other websites as inspiration in order to see what other leading designers are doing right. So here are some steps that you may follow. First, collect a bunch of designs that you like and that you think are well designed. Then understand everything about them by answering those questions. Why do they look good? What do these sites have in common? And how were they built in HTML and CSS? Now, in order to analyze the HTML and CSS code, you can use the Google Chrome Developer Tools if you're familiar with them. You can actually learn a lot by just doing this. Believe me, this is a very effective method. And the last thing I want to tell you about inspiration is to steal like an artist. Yes, you've heard that right. So basically, I want you to make your design similar to web pages you like at least at first. When you're starting out, don't worry so much about being original. Once you're getting better and better, then originality will come automatically. Of course, you should not literally copy anything. But you get the idea, right? We already saw some inspiration in many of the other lectures. So you can just go back and take a deeper look at those if you want.